Well, hello again, Adam Bazalgette here in beautiful sunny Naples, Florida. I'm founder of scratchgolfacademy.com and two-time PGA Teacher of the Year award winner down here. I want to try to help you today with an important subject. What is the best golf driver grip? Or what is the best grip really to use for driving? Stay tuned. Well, there's a drive for me. So talking about driver grips, what are the two things you really have to be able to do? Number one, you gotta be able to create club head speed. So we're gonna show you something close up in a minute that will allow you mobility in the wrist. Certainly the wrists aren't the only source of club head speed, but believe me, if your wrists are tight and they're not mobile and you can't create some whip-like motion, you've gotta be extraordinarily strong to create a lot of club head speed. It's a major component of speed. So that would be one mobility of the wrist. And number two, of course, is the ability to square the club face. Nothing's gonna rob you of distance more off the tee or make you a less effective driver of the ball than leaving the face open and slicing it to the right, which is what so many golfers do. Now, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Would love to get you more of the free content. Let's have a close up look now at some of the things you can try to get right in your grip that are gonna give you that mobility and that ability to, to hit straight shots. Okay, so what kind of a grip gives you the ability to hinge your wrists and also the ability to square the club? Well, simply put, it's a grip that's more towards the fingers. Now, it's a little diagonal across the hand. It's not straight there, but this fleshy heel pad must sit on top of the club. It helps you to push down. Now, here's another little pitfall you've got to watch out for. If my natural hand angle, let me turn this way, is like so, avoid the pitfall so many people do of stretching their hand to get it on the club. Once that thumb stretches out, this tendon gets tight, your wrist will tend to lock up. So either a stretched hand or a grip that's too much in the palm are disastrous for golf grips, especially for the driver where you need speed. So totally relaxed position and just let the club fit in there under that muscle pad and take it like so. There's different routines as to how to do this. I've got videos on that, but practice it up in front of you like that till there's no stretch and it's at the base of the fingers. One other little benefit of this, when you grip it more down towards your fingers, your hand will naturally wrap over the club a little bit more. Let me get my grip on there. Now have a look at that. You'll see some angle here, and this, this joint at the base of my wrist is well on the side of the shaft. That's a natural consequence of the good grip. When you see that sort of a look, it is so much easier to close the club through impact, giving you a little more draw and a little more snap. So pay attention to your grip. It's really important, those two factors. Okay, so I hope that helps you get a good sense of your lead hand and what to do with it and why it's so important. Trailing hand, we didn't talk a lot about that, but it's gonna be slightly across the base of the fingers and you just wanna get that, that lifeline between the two pads here just matched up to the back of that left thumb there so that your hand is really on the back of the shaft and it is in a position to push through well. Left hand grip is really a big key though because if you get that right, it's pretty easy to fit the right hand grip on there. We got lots more information about the grip and the setup and other factors at scratchgolfacademy.com. Love to have you subscribe to the channel. We'll get you more free content. There's lots of content at scratchgolfacademy.com. There's a free course here on distance. This would be great for your driving. I'd be delighted if you'd sign up and take advantage of that. Finally, if you want to leave a comment and include in that maybe subjects you'd like me to tackle going forward, I'd be happy to try to get to those and see if I can make a video that would help you. Thanks for your time.